So welcome back once again to What Gear Reviews and today I'm not going to lie to you guys and say I know everything about editing. In fact, when I started the YouTube channel about two and a half years ago, I knew nothing. And that reminds me of that joke I told once at the Game of Thrones exhibit in London. Okay, I'm here with Mary Ellie. Hey Mary Ellie, I have a joke for you. How much money did Jon Snow win on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Zero, because he knew nothing. People just weren't getting my jokes. But anyway, today I've been sent a really, really useful product from Editor's Keys. Now, Editor's Keys do keyboard covers, which actually tell you what all of the keys do for a certain program. So for example, this one here is for Adobe Premiere Pro CC, which is what I actually use on my video edits. So this is gonna be really, really handy. It's kind of like having a piano with all the keys with the letters that they are and the notes. So basically there's a bunch of keys on here which I've never heard of before. I didn't even know a lot of these keys had shortcuts and stuff. So I'm gonna apply this to my Apple Mac. I'll show you guys how it looks on the actual keyboard itself. And this is really, really great because there's some stuff here which I can Google and find out actually what it does, which actually might improve my editing skills in the long run. So once again, a big thank you to Editor's Keys for hooking these up. This looks really, really awesome. Maybe this could be the most useful bit of kit that I've been sent in a long time. And for you guys that wanna get into YouTube and you wanna start video editing, I really, really recommend something like this because if I had this at the beginning, I probably would've saved a whole bunch of time trying to find out where these buttons were on the actual program itself. Anyway, there'll be a link to Editor's Keys website so you can pick one of these up if you want to in the description below. But anyway, let's fit this to the keyboard now and see how it looks actually on the computer. So as you can see here, this is Adobe Premiere. Here's a video that I've been editing for Pro Airsoft Supplies. They just started a YouTube channel. You should definitely go and check them out and subscribe. That'll really help them get started. They sell awesome replica guns, which you can go and shoot at each other with in the woods and stuff like that. And in old abandoned buildings. Really, really cool. Anyway, let's look at this. This cover actually works with the MacBook Air the 2008 MacBook Pro, the MacBook Pro Retina, and Mac wireless keyboard as well. Um, on the back here, you can see it's 40% faster. So imagine all of those videos I've edited, if I did them 40% faster, that means I could have put out 40% more videos, and who knows, maybe it would have 40% more subscribers. You never know. But anyway, it's a silicone cover, and it's fully washable, which is really, really handy as well. It keeps your keyboard protected. And uh, yeah, stops crumbs getting in there and stuff like that. If you spill any drinks, this should sort of be a bit more resistant to it than your keyboard as it is, as you see here. I'm gonna turn the lights up on these keys as well, see if it shines through this. Okay, so let's open it up. So it's kind of stuck to this bit of cardboard here, which I'm gonna peel it off. And let's just place it on here. Line it up if I can. There we go, really nice. The lights actually do shine up through from underneath. I'm gonna zoom in a bit closer so you can see some of this stuff. Okay, so now you can see the Editor's Keys keyboard. Now there's loads and loads of stuff on here which I have never seen before in my life. Stuff like this, cell clips, AT playhead, I may have hit that button by accident once before and didn't know what the hell was happening. The good thing about this now is I can actually Google these things and check out what that means in relation to Adobe Premiere. So I'm probably gonna learn a bunch of stuff that I didn't know before. So already the editor's key has opened up a lot of doors for me to learn new stuff when it comes to Adobe Premiere Pro. I do like the look of this thing. These color keys, the yellow and the sort of green and the blue, I'm not sure why they're that colored, so I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna read the manual and find out exactly why they're colored like that. It's probably quite significant. Um, but again, it just shows you how much I don't know about Premiere, despite how many videos I've actually made so far and how good I think I am. 
there's still so much more to learn and this is really a good tool to utilize if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you're using Adobe Premiere. So that's it for this What Gear review on the Editor's Keys keyboard cover for the Apple Mac. They do this for different types of computers and uh, different size keyboards and stuff like this. Go check out their website and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and you will be one of the finest subscribers known to man. So I'm nearly at 20K subscribers now, and I've been thinking about what I should do for the 20K subscriber video. I'd love to hear your ideas, and if any of them are really, really good, I'll try my best to do it. I do have access to the YouTube creator space in London, so maybe I'll hire that out and do something really, really epic. But right now, I don't know what to do, so let me know your ideas, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.